Hello, Gemini viewers. I'm going to look into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting. Um, the last video I did, I was getting that there was a narcissistic ex that was wanting to come back in, but you have new love that you've either just met or you're going to be meeting in the near future. So let's see what's going on. Gemini's, what is going on? Okay, sorry, let me straighten that out there. Okay. Nine of Wands, High Priestess. Yeah, I've been, I always get you guys in High Priestess or High Priest energy. Like, that's really consistent the past six six months or so um, that you guys have really been stepping into your power, maybe getting on your spiritual path, developing your intuition further. You're just, you're very attractive to people right now. Your energy is just very mesmerizing. And it's been really, it's been like that consistently is what I feel for this group. So we've got Three of Wands, Four of Cups reversed, a Hierophant reversed, the world, the seven of wands, the three of swords, the knight of wands. This would be the narcissistic X, I believe. Two more cards. Five of cups. Yeah, leaving the narcissistic X behind. The star. Starting something new with this knight of swords here. Well, male or female, whatever. It could be a female Knight of Swords energy. But starting, you know, planting some new seeds here. So let's see what the cards have to say. I think it's just a warning here that the narcissist might come back in and try to pull you back to old patterns. And you're going to have to rise above that. Let me get this straightened out. Okay, there we go. The, the narcissist might try to get, pull you back in and... There's just a strong energy here that you're going to need to stand your ground. And it makes sense because we're in Mercury retrograde uh, shadow phase right now. And then we have, you know, the official Mercury retrograde coming up on the first. So this person might be thinking about you, might be, I just get like a sneaky energy. Like they're trying to figure out a way to lure you back in. They're trying to, they want that attention from you again. They're realizing that you're, you're planting seeds elsewhere. Now this could be with a new person. This could be with you focusing on your career. This could just be any kind of new energy in your, in your life. They're kind of just recognizing that they don't have you the way that they used to. And so there's this really, you know, you see this nine of wands and three of wands energy. It's like a final battle that you might be having to face, you know, kind of like a test that you might be going through to make sure that you're really committed to this new life that you're asking for. You know, are you committed to this new career? Are you committed to this this new love that's either just come in or this new love that you're that you're praying for, you know, are you really committed to this new path? It's almost like your guides are kind of questioning that because you've got this one final, final battle coming up with this narcissist. The Knight of Wands and the Three of Wands, it's, it's yeah, it's just standing your ground, really standing your ground, being strong, being assertive. Because I feel like this person knows how to lure you back in. Like, they know how to push your buttons. They know your weaknesses, they know how to exploit your loneliness, how to exploit your pain. This is, because I, I, I get like such a snooky energy. I just get, I get that they're thinking about you right now, but they're thinking about you in a toxic way. Like they know that they can't just come back and say, you know, hey, how is, how is it going? Let's talk. Like they're really actually meditating on how to manipulate you right now. Like they're really planning out like what they're going to say and how they're going to to lure you back in and how they're going to exploit your loneliness or exploit your pain or how they're going to play on your empathy again like they used to like they're 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 really sneaky and manipulative so you're you're called to stand in your your power you know stand your ground don't listen to the loneliness don't let this person 
gaslight you and, and pull you back into these negative patterns with them. You know, you really need to stand in your high priestess energy or high priest energy, male or female. You know, you need to stand in this intuitive energy. Don't listen to your emotions because they're going to try to play off that familiar energy, you know, or maybe make you feel like, oh, you know, you need them or they need you. And, and they're going to try to, they're, they're really working on what to say right now, but it's not genuine. It's like they're trying to make sure they say just the right words so that they can get you stuck in this cycle again. And, you know, if you, if you go back to this, you're going to be stuck in this and you're not going to be happy. You know, you might be happy at first that you got them back, but it's going to be the same crap as before. And you're going to pa pass up this opportunity with this new person. So this is like your final test here to stand in this, this high priestess energy. Use your intuition. Be strong. Be assertive. Be mean even if you have to, but cut this person out. You know, s set those strong boundaries. Tell them no. It's like you were in that Four of Cups energy where you were bored and you were lonely and you were waiting for them, but it's like now you're coming out of that with that reversed. You know, same with the Hierophant. I feel like they're going to come in with Hierophant kind of energy with, um, you know, the Hierophant is about like traditions and society and, and rules. Maybe that's going to be one of their arguments, you know, like, well, it's familiar with me. Like we've gone through so much together or like my kids need you in their life or some, some kind of manipulative argument to try to lure you back in, you know, like with the Hierophant upright, it would be like, I just see it as gaslighting, as, as gaslighting, like rules and authority and, and trying to, they're trying to be the one in control. They're trying to dominate you. But with this reversed, it's like when they come back around this time, they're in for a rude awakening because they're not going to be able to gaslight you and dominate you and control you and manipulate you like they used to in the past. You're a lot smarter this time around. You know, with the world, we've got that cycle that's coming to a close. So really, Son of Wands here, really stand your ground. Really stand your ground. It might hurt. It might hurt to, to watch this person leave, to let this go. But you know what? It's, it's better to just go through that pain. It really is. It, it really is better to just go through this pain because this person, this person has a very toxic energy very toxic, very abusive, very negative energy to them. And they're not going to change. Like if you're an empath, sometimes that's a hard lesson for empaths to learn is that that person's just, they're always going to do the same thing. You know, it's, it's hard sometimes for empaths to like get that, to understand that lesson that, you know, you can't change them, that they don't even want to change. This person doesn't care about changing. They don't even see any error in their faults. They might tell you they do once in a while to lure you back in, but they don't. So you're being called to let this go, to let, even if it hurts, even if it's, even if it was familiar, even if you built a life together, that life is over now, you know, you have something new and something better coming in. So you're being called to just go through this pain and let this go. Don't chase it, you know, stand on your rock, stand in your power, let the, let that ship sail away. You don't want it anymore. Trust me. Um, and like I said, this is a test from your guides too, because I feel like feel like these could both be life partners and it's scary to even say that because you would be so miserable with this person. I feel like both these both these people might let me ask let me confirm with the pendulum if both these people are potential life partners are both these people potential life partners. Yes. Yes, can you see that? Yeah, it's getting a yes. I get just such major red flags with this person. I know it's familiar, but you really have to stay in your power and rise above it no matter how hard it is. Because it's like they're both life partners, but it's like this life that you would have with this narcissist would be you like cleaning and cooking and taking care of them and coddling to them, and not feeling beautiful, not feeling wanted, probably being cheated on, maybe even being abused, being neglected, you know, not having your feelings hurt. It would be... It might even be more toxic than it used to be. They might have even gotten worse from your time apart. They might actually even be a worse person than they were before, if you can imagine that. And you would be miserable and you would be stuck with them. Like you could get pregnant or you could, something could happen where you would, that would just be your life. You would just be stuck with them. You would be like 50, 60, older and just be, you know, just in that energy with them. Just, just, you know too too worn out too tired to leave them and try to find somebody new too tired to start a new life you would just wake up every day and just hate your life at a certain point even if you'd be happy in the beginning that they were back you would you would fall back into that old pattern so it's like a major red flag like you your life will be miserable if you choose that person is what I feel
you know, and you'll be stuck. I feel like, I feel like for a lot of you, if you go back to the narcissist, you might get stuck with them where they might be like abusive and not let you leave, or you might get pregnant or they might hold something. They might, if you guys broke up before and you guys got back together, I almost feel like they might hold something against you this time around to make sure that you can't leave them again. Like threatening people around you or, um, you know, holding, like threatening to tell people rumors about you, just something like that, like where they would, they would make sure this person is so controlling and so dark and so manipulative that like, if they had you again, I feel like they would just trap you. Like they would like literally like physically trap you. Like they would, they would do something to ensure that you couldn't leave them again or that they, even if they left you before, whatever, they would do something to ensure that there wasn't a breakup again, that you were just stuck with them for the rest of your life. And that would just, that would suck. It would really suck for you. Okay. So please be smart when this, if this person messages you with the same old, same old story or a sob story or playing on your empathy, trying to, trying to drag you back in, tell you how much they miss you, blah, blah, blah. You need to be smarter than that. And you need to rise above this because your entire life is at stake, that your entire future is at stake here. And so you need to pass this test and you need to stay in your, in your strength, no matter how hard it is, go through the pain. It, <clears throat> If this breaks your heart to let this go, it's not the end of the world. The heartbreak will pass. Just go through it. Just let it go. Even if it takes months, even if it takes a couple of years to heal, it is better to be sad for a couple of years and process this and heal than it is to spend the next few decades stuck with this person. You know what I mean? Like this heartbreak in the moment, it might seem like the worst thing ever, but it's in the long run, it's so... <coughs> oh, in the long run, it's worth it. It's worth it to just go through it. You might have some throat chakra blocks too, because oh my god, what is that? I can't even talk. <coughs> oh, that's crazy. Oh my gosh. You need to work on your throat chakra, some of you. Okay, but new person. Most of you already know this. Most of you already know this person ain't crap. So most of you know that you need to you need to be smart and you need to go forward towards this knight of swords, someone who actually would be loyal to you. <coughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. It's not okay. What is that? <laughs> and with the star, it's like, yeah, you're planting these new seeds. And again, some of you might be single. Some of you like have no one. And so when this narcissist comes back, it's like, it's, you know, there's just someone there. It's like familiar. And again, you still have to be strong and you have to know that this person, this knight of swords or this, this queen of swords, you know, whatever you, this person, this new person is coming in. Whether you can see them or not, you need to just have that faith and know that even if you're single and you're alone and you're not talking to anyone, you still need to rise above this energy because you know what you want, you know what you deserve, and you know that you don't want to settle for this crap again. So, you know, even if you can't see it yet, just know that this Knight of Swords, this person, male or female, is in your future, even if it's, you know, even if you don't, even if it's hard to recognize right now. So again, rise above, stand in your power cut this person out, this narcissist out and plant those seeds towards, you know, your future with this other person. So, <clears throat> oh my gosh, show me the new person, please. <clears throat> oh yeah. Death and rebirth. So it's like a, an ending of, you know, an ending of loneliness an ending of unhappiness an ending of boredom an ending of death is about endings. You know, it's, it's an ending of <clears throat> toxic patterns, toxic people, you know, insecurities and ending of all this negativity and a new start with the fool, something like new romantic energy. It's kind of like honeymoon kind of energy almost. Three of Pentacles, yeah, building like an equal partner, building something together. The magician, you've been manifesting this too. Some of you have been manifesting love. <clears throat> and so your guides are going to bring you love all at once, but you know, they're bringing you in someone that's actually man matching what you're asking for. It's almost like some of you have been asking in the, or maybe in the past you were asking for the narcissist to get better or the narcissist to treat you well or love you or do this and that. And all that intention is ending up actually bringing someone who can match that energy you're asking for. It's not the narcissist. So it's someone new that you've either just met or you're going to meet in the near future. <clears throat> oh, gosh. Yeah, romantic feelings, new start, ace of cups. It's good energy here. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I can't even talk. What's wrong with me? Oh, some of you guys really have some throat chakra blocks you got to work on from that narcissist. Oh, I really need to. Oh my God. That's nuts. I don't know what that is. That's some crazy crap right there. The sun. Yeah, you have all these good cards. The fool, the ace of cups, the sun, the magician, 
three of pentacles, the star, all these, these cards about just a new start in life, you know, it could be new career, new job offer, new, new love, especially, you know, or taking that next step with this new person, <clears throat> you know, romantic, vulnerable feelings, like being able to be in this soft, gentle, vulnerable energy and have this other person actually reciprocate it and appreciate it and, and protect your heart the way that they'd protect their own, you know, just looking forward to the future. <clears throat> oh my gosh. What else do you want to say about the new person? Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles. Ooh, that's like a power couple right there. That's good energy. That is good energy. Ooh. Could be an Earth or a Fire sign too. Temperance, yeah, healing, balance. Moving forward. King of Swords, yeah. We're saying goodbye to the King of Swords. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I cannot talk. What is wrong with me? Oh, all right. Anyway, you basically, you have this, this new start, whether you can see it or not. Some of you have already started talking to this new person. Some of the, you, this person is kind of watching you. They're in their, your energy field. They're coming in, um, but they're, they're around, you know, like even if you haven't met them yet, some of them, they're physically like watching you like on Facebook or social media. Um, others you've started talking and you're kind of, it's progressing, for, for others of you, it's like you're going to be meeting them soon, but you haven't physically met them yet. But in the higher realms, like in the 5G, you guys are are um, collaborating, you know, and figuring out how to meet. It's like that. That's It's like a soulmate or a twin flame connection that's already been planned out. <clears throat> but I see all good cards here. You know, it's talking about, you know, you have a, a choice to make, basically. You have two paths. You have a final test that's coming up. And if you pass that test, then you get this new life. You get this new start with career, with love, with, with all the things that you want, you know. Could even be um, a narcissistic boss for some of you trying to drag you back in or trying to, you know, some kind of job that's been trapping you and it's like are you gonna take a leap of faith and let that go and have this new start um not that you should quit your job and I'm just saying if you already quit like don't let your boss for a couple of you like don't let your boss drag you back in you know like you know why you quit so stick to it <clears throat> but yeah it's it's all good romance energy it's it's romance it's passion it's it's vulnerability it's being it's building together starting a life together you know temperance building it slowly but it's like with the king of pentacles it's 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 passionate but it's like balanced and grounded and stable at the same time it's like the best of both worlds it's almost like this relationship with this person has like that feminine fire energy like the passion the romance the the sexual attraction the chemistry the 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 love the the goofiness the just that closeness and then it also has the other the other side of it the um the masculine kind of uh earthy financial grounded energy to it as well where it's like it's stable it's it's loyal it's mutually loyal it's it's um consistent it's no, it's not temperance here. It's it's consistent. It's you know open communication, um, taking things at a at a steady pace, really getting to know each other, really um, really building a, a future together. Maybe even going to, into business together for some of you. Maybe starting something new, creating something new together. But yeah, it's a really so we got more creative energy here with the Ace of Wands. The moon, you know, using your intuition. Two of Pentacles. Yeah. Queen of Cups. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, building a new life together, you know, leaving the past behind. Getting out of hermit mode. You know, passion, happy time, celebration. Just being appreciated, being loved, feeling beautiful, feeling wanted, just this, this close connection. Um, again, you got to pass this final test and stand in your power, stand in your high priestess or high priest energy above all else. No matter how lonely you are, just go through the heartbreak. If, you've, if you haven't gone through it yet, just go through it with the narcissist to, to just accept the pain, you know, accept the heartbreak, accept that it's going to hurt for a while and work through that and then you're going to manifest this new love if you have not manifested them already and you know you have a good a really positive new start with this new person 
I see a lot of just really stable, grounded, long, potential for long-term energy here and, and the passion and romance on top of it. So it's like you've got a good balance. It's like you have the friendship and the stability, but you have the passion and romance too. So it's like it's very, it's a very, you know, um, like the temperance card. It's very, it's very grounded, very balanced. <clears throat> and again, potential to really to build something here. Um, when it comes to business or finances, something else, there's just a potential for a lot of growth for the two of you in this connection. So thank you for watching. I hope it resonates. If it does, please go ahead and uh, subscribe, share, um, like, and uh, any donations at all are appreciated. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly, you know, especially with so many viewers coming on here. It's like that this, it adds up quick. So if you can just even leave a dollar, I appreciate it. My PayPal link is right below. You can just click on the link. And if you'd like a private reading, my email address is below too. Thank you for watching.